Alright guys, if you're looking to save some time with your testing and grading and all that fun stuff, uh, I'm going to show you how to convert your Microsoft Word tests into Blackboard and uh, it automatically grades everything for you. The tests will be there next year as well. You can still modify them and edit them and um, really it's a little bit of upfront work but in the long run it'll save you a lot of time. You won't have to get copies next year reprinting tests, save a lot of paper, all that good stuff. So this document I will send to you and it's got two links you'll need to use. So if you click control and then go to the test formatter and I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm also gonna open the test generator. So I have these two tabs open now. This is the first one that I sent you. Uh, basically it tells you how you have to format the questions in order for Blackboard to accept them or import them. So we're going to look at multiple choice and then you can look at these others if you want to ask questions like that. It's pretty straightforward and it's the same exact uh, procedure. So it says for a multiple choice question, your question has to be on a single line. Answers immediately follow the question and then there's an asterisk that marks the first or the correct choice. So here's an example and we're going to do questions exactly like this. So if I go into the test generator, which is this, it asks you to name your quiz. So I'm just going to put sample. You should probably name it whatever the quiz's name is, if it's chapter one test or whatever. And then here you're going to put your questions in. So I have a document that is a test that I used to use. And I'm going to go ahead and just do three questions so you can see how this would be done. So I would copy them. So I hit control C on my keyboard or you can right click and hit copy. And then I'm going to open up this generator and I'm going to paste them in here. All right, now I have to format them exactly like this showed me, uh, and I'm going to do that for you. So if you don't want to watch me format all of them, you don't have to. You can just fast forward. But uh, one recommendation would be to make sure you utilize the delete key on your keyboard, not just backspace, because delete will do, so I hit enter here, and then delete, 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 and it moves it forward. So it's a forward delete instead of backspace. So that'll get you going a little quicker. And then I am just doing this exactly like it asked me to. So I'm going to get it all formatted again. If you don't want to watch this part, you can fast forward. And then the last thing I have to do is mark the correct answers for them. So I put an asterisk in front of the correct answer. And I know that that's the correct answer for that question. This is the correct answer for that question. And lastly, there we go. So now that I have it formatted correctly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit create quiz. It doesn't look like it did anything. Basically, it just refreshed the page. But if you go to the bottom, now this is here. So it says you look. it looks like you have three questions, and that is correct. And actually, I forgot to number these, so I'm going to fix those. should be one, two, three. So now I will recreate it. Now it will be correct like this. Now I want to get this package. So I click this button, and it's going to ask me to save the file. So I will save the file. It downloaded it here. You can see it says Blackboard Quiz Zip. Then I'm going to push this folders button and I need to go to my downloads file and then here is the quiz that I just created. Okay. This one's from earlier so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Uh, so I'll do this again. It says good job downloaded. Right here it is. So I'll save it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to use this later. I don't do anything with it now. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this window. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Blackboard. So once you log on, you're actually going to come to the main screen, which shows what classes you have. And I'm going to go into the class that I want to enter the quiz. Then I'm going to go where it says Class Tools. You'll need to drop this menu down. Go to Test Surveys and Pools and then you will create a pool. 
So it's going to be a question pool. I already have one here. I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I was playing with this earlier. That way you can see the whole process. So I'm going to import a pool. Then I have to find the file that we just exported, which is right here. And it's again, it's in your downloads folder. So I click the file. I click open. It attaches it. Then I hit submit. Okay, so it says it's completed. I push OK. Now back here in the pools, you can see that it came through. It's a three question sample quiz that we just made. Now I'm going to use this pool to make the test. So I go back to test surveys and pools. Now I'm going to create the test. So I'm going to import, I'm sorry, I'm going to build a test. So I'm going to call it sample. And then you could describe what the test is. I never did going to go ahead and submit it. So now I've created the test called sample. Here I'm going to upload the questions that I just put in the pool. So click upload questions. We're going to browse. Sorry, wrong button. We're going to exit this. We're going to reuse question. So we're going to find questions. And this pulls up all the pools that you made. So now I can just click on the sample quiz, and you can see them here. So I will select all my questions that I added, and then I will hit submit. All right, so it's now added my questions. And you can see them one by one. The green check mark shows the correct answer. Uh, and it, this is giving them 10 points apiece. So if you want to update that right here, you can put one point and then update, but you have to select all of your questions. So if I hit select all, then update, now every question will be just worth, you can see it changed it to one point there. Same thing down the page, one point, one point. So now I have a three question quiz. So now that my test is created, you're gonna go put it where students can view it. So you go to course content, and then we're gonna create an assessment. So I would go test, and then now I can just select the test and hit submit. Now it brings up a bunch of test options that I have available. And here is where you will want to spend some time and play around. So make the link available. If you want kids to be able to take it, you have to click yes. You can allow them to take it more than one time. So if you want to let them retake it once, you can change it to two, but you don't have to. And then here, since I clicked that, this option became available. I can unclick it and you can see that I can't do anything here. Uh, but if I let them take it twice, then I can select whether they get the highest grade, last graded attempt, so the last one they took, or I can take an average of their grade. Uh, I can force them to complete it in one sitting. I can set a timer for one class period. And I can uh, password protect it. So I'm going to show you this. I'm just going to put the password as XX. And then down here, if you were doing an online class, you would probably do due dates. Um, you want it to go in the test grade center so you can see the score. If you're just letting them do a practice test, you can hide the results so it doesn't matter. And then after they submit, you want to show them the question that they submitted and the incorrect question. I never did show them all the answer choices if I'm letting them retake it because then they'll just look at the right answer and then retake it and get a better grade. Uh, it presents all at once, and here I can randomize all the questions. So I would do that. That way no student has the same number one as anybody else in the class. Go ahead and submit. And, and once you submit, then your test is down here at the bottom. So if you want to see what this looks like from a student perspective, they would click the test. They can see all the rules that you had set forth. They begin the test and it asks for a password. So on the day of the test, I would just write the password on the board, and you can change the password for each class. So ours was XX, hit submit, and it takes me to the test. So I will get a couple right and a couple wrong, so you can see the difference. And then I, when I'm done with my test, I would go ahead and hit save and submit. It prompts them to make sure that they want to submit it. Once they hit OK, it says your test is finished. They have to click this button to see their score, but it auto graded it, and I got a 2 out of 3. So now looking back at review, I can see that I selected this one, and it was correct. I selected this answer, and it was correct. 
and I selected this answer and it was wrong, but it doesn't show me the other choices again, so that way the kids couldn't just memorize the right answer to the question and then go back and get a better grade. So it forces them to actually learn it if you are going to let them retake it. Okay, then the other uh, thing that you may want to know is now that I've created that test, that's specifically just for this hour. So I'm in sixth hour, my class. If I went to a different class, that test is not going to be there, and you can't just copy it. Okay, on some of these things, you can move to a different folder. You cannot do that with tests. So what you have to do is you click it, and this may take me a second, but I'm going to get in here. Um, sorry, I'm going to. I'm going to have to export this test. So actually, I know I go back here, and I go to tests. I find the test that I want to do. I click it, and I export the file. So now I'm going to save it again. It's going to go to my downloads fo uh, folder again, so I can show you that it's here. Here is my test export. So now I'm going to go to a different class and show you how if you had two of the same sections, you can get the same test over to the next section. So if I went up here where I can navigate between classes, I'll go to a chemistry class. And if I want to add the test, here I just hit import test. Now I will find the file that I just exported, add it, submit it. and now that test is in here sample so now I'd go through the same process I'd go back to content I'd build the test and then I would go ahead and update it so I hope that helps if you have any other questions feel free to get a hold of me and I'll help you out good luck